I've always wanted to know what it's like to be a teacher, so I'm wondering how much of it is how much of your own values do you actually impart upon them or just like part of the curriculum? <laughs> I think you you do uh, share something of your character when you teach, so I think it builds. I hope that you know, through the teaching, you, you suddenly show some good side of you that your students are you learn. It's, it's not just kind of you no know, way. Okay, wow, okay, great, great. Uh, Unless you have something to say, what what do you do to discipline your kids? <laughs> to tell mama. <laughs> No, I don't discipline them. No, she doesn't. No, I don't tell you. Yes, she teaches me now. Thank you very much, Jamie. All right, give it up for me, Peter. Okay, Peter, what do you do, Peter? Steve Olson. You are. Do you mean that you're asking department? So we get to ask them, yes, okay, what, where, which ministry do you go um, for? A star. What's A star? A star. What? What's A star? What's A star? It's a stat board. It's a stat, it's a stat board. Yes. Okay. So it doesn't affect any of us here now. Okay, continue. Okay, so, uh, <laughs> alright, uh, so, well, why did you decide to become a civil? I mean, is it easy working in, a, in, a, in, a, in this kind of uh, your environment? Is it easy? Yeah, I mean, oh, it's very easy. So you're five. Oh, so you're just like Shia Yeah, yeah, yeah. Check emails and then just go home. Uh, so, uh, nah, you know where your tax base money is going, okay? Please <laughs> turn up. Alright, okay. Uh, Miss Devious, do you have a question for Peter? Hello, Peter. Hello. Hi, good evening. Well, um, as a civil servant, I'm just intrigued. Why would you like to enter this competition? <laughs> I mean, can you give us a clue to what you may be doing later? Um, maybe, um, because I was one of those who said that this was a good idea. <laughs> That's the typical answer from a civil servant. I thought this was a good idea. Okay, so apart from it being a good idea, um, why did you think it was a good idea? <laughs> I mean, let's delve deeper, right? You know, why do you think it would be a good idea to do this? Um, I think, um, you know, society has drawn certain boundaries and say that, you know, there are certain things that we can do and certain things we can't do. But tonight is for us to be who we want to be. There are no boundaries. So, we thought this is a great opportunity. Thank you. Very good. Thank you very much, Peter. I sounded like a new STB ad, you know. Singapore, tantalizing beyond words. Singapore, exciting beyond words. They don't say it all. Beyond words. You're so unique after all, oh, Grace. Benjamin Grace! Grace, darling, I take it you are a student or this is just a fetish? I graduated last year and I'm waiting for university. Then why are you in uniform? Why are you in uniform? Because I still feel trapped in that. Oh, well, this is a statement, Benjamin. It's a statement. She feels trapped in her uniform while darling in a bigger size. <laughs> Alright, I think you were from RJC, were you? Was. Was. That's why I said you were, lah. <laughs> was, not was, where's. Okay, anyway. <laughs> why you laugh? You'll know that fan, right? Ah, oh, ha, ha. Okay. So, uh, Grace, tell us uh, what you, what you, what you intending to do. I mean, now that you have, you're going to your results going to university, isn't it? Uh, yeah, I'm going to university. But not in Singapore, right? No. <laughs> fly, my baby, fly! Never come back! Yeah. Well, Papa, you must come back. No. You must come back, okay? You must come back because you will miss your blood very much. Trust me. <laughs> Let's give a question for Grace. Hi, you're from RJC, right? Yes. All girls school, right? No. Oh. RJ, all girls school. Yeah, sometimes. Uh. <laughs> which, which toilet you go? Which angle you get? Uh. Yeah, my darling, what is the strangest thing you've seen happening in your toilet? The strangest thing in your toilet? In I can't school. go into the boys' toilet. The girls are quite well behaved. The ones I know. <laughs> <laughs> from well behaved school. I'm just from well behaved school. But I'm from I'm the science stream, so the girls in there are quite impressed. <laughs> okay, from <laughs> the science stream, so you do the test tube. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's what? Oh. I think that's an urban legend. Oh, great. Oh, okay. Yeah, the test tube? It's not. Later. It's, it's not. not. Later. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah, any 
you guys want to ask, like, raise your hand, Okay? Okay. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Great. All right. George, George, who is holding up his clothes with safety pins. Is that done on purpose or did you buy it like that? I did myself. Okay. <laughs> Very nice. <laughs> okay, this requires extreme makeup. <laughs> okay, uh, George, tell us, uh, what, what do you do, George? I have two jobs. Um, I'm a lawyer and I teach part-time. Okay, you teach law or? Teach law, yeah. You teach law? Yeah. <laughs> Alright, okay, anybody got questions for George, who is a lawyer and teaches part time law? <laughs> it's always not bothered me, I'm always been curious why people make such a great effort to look untidy. What? I mean, it's like, I mean, people make a lot of effort, right, just to look untidy. I was wondering, what's the whole thing behind it? Um, do you think I look untidy in this place? You've got 50 pins away. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, I think it's a phenomenon that right now in society, everyone wants to be relaxed. So they all the effort to be relaxed. Don't you know? Are we asking these questions? I'm only an actor, no, I fail all levels, one no. <laughs> Please don't have wardrobe malfunction, huh? Ladies and gentlemen, George! Okay, and I'll ask the gentleman in the middle, the very tall and strapping Elf. Okay, so Elf, tell us what do you do and are you going to take up the clothes for us later on? <laughs> um, I sell houses and yes, I'll be taking up the clothes for you later on. Okay, that's your answer. Okay, that's your answer. Okay, that's your answer. Uh, anybody want to ask Al anything? Yeah, so Miss Stevens will ask you a question right now. But you're very tall. Uh, yes. Are your hands very big? <laughs> Are your feet very big? I check your Show me your hand. <laughs> oh. Double check. Quite loud. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Show me your leg. Feet loud. Oh. I oh. wear oh, a size 10 and a half. Oh. <laughs> 10 and a half, you got like two can lah, about there lah. <laughs> persuaded you to join this competition? If, if I had a choice, I would run screaming on the exit right now. <laughs> Wait, screaming with hands flailing or just screaming? <laughs> just, just a scream. Okay, because we have to this, uh, you know, determine this because a lot of people will want to know whether you are the... <laughs> or the... Oh. So, you know, it's, it's about that at the moment, you see. Um, maybe in between. Um, Sir? I asked the question, right? Uh, e. Uh, or just. Uh, e is not allowed in Singapore. Okay, so. Thank you, Nigel and Al! Okay, so this is what you see, ladies and gentlemen. Our contestants. We're in various states of normal normality, normalcy, and safety pins. And school uniform. Okay? And they have told you. Yeah, deep felt feelings. <laughs> okay, and, and, and then they're gonna later on have an hour to go and transform themselves into a completely different person. Okay, because they feel that they want to, because they want to be who they want to be.